welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog me looking insane in the beginning as always <laughs> and, and hold up why do i not have like oh girl <sighs> yeah so like i was saying i had started vlogging for a little bit and then i stopped not really i did like one <laughs> And then I stopped because, I don't know if I said it in that vlog, but, like, I really kind of am literally craving a new direction for my channel. And I want it to be something that honestly just <laughs> suits my real lifestyle more. So I mainly created this channel off of hair care because I was passionate about hair, which I still am. But that passion has transitioned to necessarily doing my hair on YouTube for you guys all the time, which I don't mind every now and then, obviously, like reviewing products and stuff like that. Um, but when it comes to constantly having to create or come up with ideas of things to do your hair and then constantly in your hair, it just does not flow with my life anymore, <laughs> you know? Oh, I do love this community that I built and I want to continue to grow with, you know, my current YouTube family on here. But I just, I want something more purpose driven and just something that just fulfills me more, you know? And that's why my channel has kind of been stagnant with my content for a while because it's just like, like the thrill, the excitement for what I had when I started my channel literally like what eight years ago when i was in college obviously has changed because i've changed so yes i have a passion for hair care but now that passion just has transitioned to um me creating my own hair care line versus me doing videos on doing my hair you know what i'm saying so now i'm moving into where i want to do more lifestyle vlogs and in there i am going to have a concentration on being an entrepreneur and owning your own brand because that's just what's going on right now in my life and i like personally enjoy watching those videos and then as my life transitions and expands then i will be able to take you guys along for that you know so yeah so we're doing a weekend in my life and today's friday i just got off work um it's 5 11 right now i'm waiting on my son's dad cam's dad to pick him up and then after i'm about to head to the gym it's what I'm it's what I'm dressed for. Oh, and by the way, I now have a fitness channel. So make sure you guys go follow me. It's Sabrina So Fit. I'll leave the link below. So it is a page curated for slim girls wanting to gain weight and build curves, you know, all of that stuff, which you know is probably almost every girl's dream right now. <laughs> So if you're interested in that, definitely go make sure you subscribe to that. But you guys, this week has been a little bit overwhelming and I think it's just, I'm doing so much right now. <laughs> I'm doing so much right now and I kind of had a day today where I was just like, basically kind of, not in self-doubt. But I've just been, I've been bratty today. I've had a bratty day and I had to call my best friend Dara and talk to her and she helped me, you know, get <laughs> my shit together basically because my brain was just running off just, uh. but you know, it's normal and it's natural to get overwhelmed. Don't feel like you're failing when you start feeling overwhelmed. You are just doing a lot. Um, so for instance, for me, because I feel like you guys don't really know too much about me. Because I don't put myself out there like that. I come on here. I do my hair. I talk about what I'm supposed to talk about. And then I keep it moving. <laughs> like if I came, I did my job, and I went home with a person, it's me and my videos. <laughs> so for one, I have a nine to five. I'm a mom. I now have two YouTube channels that I'm managing. And I also have a business that I'm in the middle of doing a really big rebrand and relaunch. 
so it's not even like a relaunch it's like it's like starting over from scratch but not really like I have a funnel I have a pipeline of customers but in essence I am starting all over from scratch with everything so that has been the biggest stressor for me and this week I think this week I've just been making my to-do list and everything that has to get done to successfully launch this with like just the, everything that I want it to be like my full vision and I think that's what like sent me over the overwhelming anxiety start stressing out vibe so yeah I'm about to go to the gym get some endorphins <laughs> going and try to settle my mind um next week I took a three-day weekend I took Friday off from my nine to five because I'm actually going to use that Friday to do like a full-blown realigning centering grounding myself like you know clearing of my energy <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's simply Sabrina. <laughs> You're writing it down. <laughs> All right, thank you. Huh? No, it's not, but you'll see other stuff. <laughs> Just finished my workout. I did upper body today. <sighs> Feeling good. I need to wash my hair, so I don't know if doing upper body was the best choice before that, but <laughs> I got it in, okay? Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. It's about how like do right? <laughs> It's Saturday, it's about 10.30. I just finished working out. I did lower, well not lower, but I actually did glutes. That's why, you know, the pump is real right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I didn't really have the best workout. Um, I didn't do as many like exercises as I would have liked to do because my energy level is just not really there. Um, but I still got a decent workout in, so that's one thing. I try to focus on when it comes to working out is like as long as I get in there and I do something I, I won <laughs> okay I was not defeated so sorry about last night you guys I definitely kind of left y'all hanging <laughs> um I didn't even do anything that I originally planned to do last night because like I said I had my week was a little bit draining so after the gym I wasn't really having it to do anything that I was supposed to do plus um, my best friend kind of have like a hair emergency, so I was like on FaceTime with her for a bit. She got butterfly locks, not the crochet version, like the real version, and her hair is pretty long, so the stylist did like a fold-over method with her hair to get it to the bob length that she wanted, but she was struggling, taking it out, and then her braid under it was like folded, but then the stylist kind of like wrapped her ends around the braid, so it was like knotted and tangled too, so that was a whole debacle, um, yeah, so <laughs> I just chilled out last night, um, just finished my workout, I'm not about to put up, no, I'm gonna put my seat on, because my car is gonna get real aggravating if I don't. Um, so hopefully my camera stays up here because, um, I don't have a mount for my car yet. Um, yeah, I see it. I see you. I'm like, just going down the street. Not even. <laughs> I knew you wasn't going to stay. Um, so I'm just going, I don't know, the lighting's about to get real crazy. I'm literally going across like the plaza. Yeah, like when my appetite is like all off and stuff and I know like I'm not in the mood to eat. I obviously eat because I need to eat, but I don't tend to buy like a lot of food because I don't want to waste it. About to go to Tropical Smoothie Cafe and I might just get a shake, but I know I need more than a shake, you know? <laughs> but and then if I only get a shake 
and then I need to eat something else, I'm going to be aggravated when I have to leave the house again to get more food. And I'm tired of giving Uber Eats my money. My order is $10 and I always end up paying $20. <sighs> it's a struggle. It's such a struggle. Let me just leave my phone. Let me grab my wallet. I just got a new wallet, guys. So for the longest, I've literally just been throwing my cash and my cards like in whatever purse I'm bringing and I'm just like girl <laughs> so I finally just got a wallet I got this coach one I was looking at a few different ones but I wanted some because that was the thing my other wallet was like really big and clunky so I never and then I carry like smaller purses now so I never wanted it wasn't working I went to YSL theirs was hella thick I went to Louis Vuitton but the ones their ones that were like this was like super kind of bulky and then the thinner ones they had the card slots like on the outside of the wallet and I'm like who why do you think I want my cards on the outside of my what's the point of having the wallet if my cards are on the outside I didn't like that but I saw this one from coach and I really like it it's not like as you can see it's like not like super bulky it fits in all of my small and then it holds everything so they have this new cajun shrimp wrap that i think i'm gonna get it looks good let's see here do you guys still have the phone oh yeah okay so i'm gonna do the bahama mama um with a Okay, and I'm gonna do the pea protein, and then and then I'm going to do the baby strip wrap as well. <laughs> Did y'all see that woman in there with no mask on? Everybody else had a mask but her. I don't get these anti-maskers. <laughs> Anti-mask like at home, but when you're around other people, that is like very inconsiderate. I wasn't like purposely trying to record her. She just happened to be in my frame, so. <laughs> so guys, I did exactly what I said I didn't want to do. I bought food and didn't really eat it. This wasn't that good anyways. But now I'm actually hungry. It's been a few hours because I've been charging <laughs> uh, my camera battery. But it's been a few hours. I actually really need to get my organizing system set up over here. So I am starting to get inventory for my business um this is an inventory this is actually a organizing system which i'm about to bring upstairs so i'm gonna put this together first <sighs> that i have to put because in here so my condo ha has hardly any storage like this is legit the only storage i have it's a co closet downstairs i have another organizer i can't open it right now um i'll show you guys in a little bit i have another organizer in there but it takes up a lot of the space so it's really not effective so i want to take that out i just need to get it situated i'm so ashamed you're gonna see what in here looks like i didn't i'm not bringing these boxes upstairs i'm honestly probably gonna put them outside while i clean this out but i need to put this together first my mind's telling me no but my body my body is telling me yes Baby, I don't want to hurt nobody But there is something that I must confess Grips on your waist, run away back way You know that I don't play so It's not safe, but I never run away Even when I'm, I'm away Okay, you guys, so I finally built the storage, and this is about to be a thousand times better than what I have. So 
I'm glad about that. As of right now, <laughs> this is what in here looks like a complete mess of mess. There's like, have boxes in here, packing stuff. I have some oils down here that I had pre ordered, more oils, oils, <laughs> boxes of supplies, bottles of old labels that I'm not, well, I am going to use because I do sell on Amazon as well. So, I feel like the whole um, Amazon art deal after I relaunch, I won't be on Amazon anymore. Um, but I am going to use these bottles because <laughs> that's money. And <laughs> um, restock Amazon until basically supplies last. This is a storage unit that I was telling you about. It's ba It takes up so much space, as you can see. And then you can't really probably store the way that I want to store because of these at first. You know, I thought it was cute or whatever, but now I need something that's just more practi practical and efficient, not necessarily cute. And it's going to be in this closet anyway, so like really. This was when it was like out in my living room. So, you know, you want to be aesthetically pleasing, but yeah, no. So, we got to clean this out. Okay, guys, so I took everything out. I cleaned it out, put the new shelf in here. So that's what it looks like. I'm leaving this spot open because I'm probably going to end up having at least one drum of oil. It's probably going to be castor oil because it's like the main ingredient in both of the oils I'm going to have. So I kind of need this space to be empty. And then everything else is going to go on here. So I'm about to pack this up. Okay guys, so <laughs> this is what it looks like now. Um, I got like some big boxes up there. So I put these boxes in here of inventory for now because I need that space. Um, but on here, I have shipping stuff on here. I didn't take them out of the box. Just have the packing. I have this here, which is has like the most random things ever. This has the caps for bottle for these bottles. Um, has the caps and the sealant for them and I have like random things in there as paper and then I have my oils right now what I have currently on hand for inventory to make my growth oils um, so we'll have two growth oils now can't wait to share um, this is my little machine to fill my bottles and I have it over here instead of there to stop this from falling out so upstairs I have this little organizer right here that I got from Amazon and I use this to actually like store the actual products in and stuff. This is literally all I have left of the original growth oil. I had all of these like filled up. If you follow me on Instagram then you would have saw when I first got it. I had all of these filled up. So this is all that's left. I am still selling these. I still have the regular website open. So if you want to get one of these, you still can. And then once that's sold out, then basically I will take the old website down until I relaunch. So one of the labs that I am working with for my new hair care line, I already got some products from them. Um, it's a butter. I did a poll on Instagram a while back and I was asking um, what products would you guys like to see added to the line and a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys asked for um, a shea butter mix. So I have a lab that I specifically used for this. So I did get some inventory. I'm gonna take these out so I can get rid. I'm trying to get of like get rid of as much clunks as possible. Obviously, I have to label them and all of that, but I'm not labeling anything yet because I still have not finalized my branding. The other lab that I'm working with actually part of their process of working with them is that they actually go through a branding process as well. So I, I have one that I already made by myself, but I'm curious to see what they come up with, their 
design team. So once I finalize it with them, then that's when I can basically get the labels for everything else. Um, these are pretty sturdy, thankfully. I don't want to press the limit though, but <laughs> let's see. Hey guys, it is Sunday. It's 11.44 a.m. right now. Um, so I just finished getting ready. I really didn't do anything this morning, but I'm about to head out. So it's my friend's little girl's second birthday. It's Harley's second birthday. She's growing up so fast. So I'm going to that. She's having like a little thing for her at a park. Um, but I need to run to Target to get a gift and I also need allergy pills because spring is officially here in Florida and the pollen is the pollen's out as well okay <laughs> so oh I have to get where are the glasses I have to go with glasses so I have to go to Target get those and then I'm going to be heading to Miss Harley's party um, but it's going to be in a park, so I thought it was going to be a really good time to actually, um, capture some content that I need for some sunglasses that I'm trying to find. So, I found them. Um, so they're from Sungate. Um, let's see. Put you on here really quick. So, I figured since I'll be outside, then I can take some pictures so I have this one it's very like retro and I think it'll kind of go with what I have on um the lighting's probably a little bit crazy but I just have a like simple Canadian jumpsuit on right now with this little boho bag so I just have some sandals on because we're going to a park so I have this one right here which is kind of like a retro feel and I definitely accessorize with the gold. Um, both of these have like gold accents and I have some rings on. So I was thinking like, so there's this one. Um, and then I have this other one. Ooh, these are so cute too. So these are, um, I, I don't know if you can see them on camera, but they're a green shade, the lens. Um, and of course it has like the gold detailing as well, but this one's cute too. Let's see. So, hmm. I don't know. I think I kind of like this one. I think I'm going to do this one. But I think I'm going to go with this one. I think so. Um, <laughs> tamed my hair because I have been looking. My, not <sighs> my hair. <laughs> has been looking so childish this entire vlog. I do apologize, but real life, it happens sometimes. So, I'm trying to make sure, you know, I need some water, cause it's hot and I haven't really eaten anything. You see how we just washed this car yesterday? Look at the disrespect of the pollen. But that's why I just, I got the car wash <laughs> membership, you guys. So I could just go as many times in a month as I need to because, like, really? Really? Okay, you guys, so I'm in Target, but I have no idea what to even get her because kids do not play with toys. <laughs> they will play with it for like two seconds and then that's it. So I don't, I have no idea what to get her. She's two. I honestly just want to get her like really cute outfits and call it a day, but it's her birthday. So I want to get her something to like play with as well. So let's see. 
I don't know. Let's see if we can find something like other than the norm, you know, baby doll and stuff. But I don't know. Maybe I should just do a baby doll call it a day, right? I don't know if she's into baby dolls or not, but let's see. Maybe I'll be the one to start the trend. <laughs> Ooh, these are cute. I had to get something to eat because I had a shake this morning. I made a protein shake. That's all I've eaten all day. It's 1.43. This is so good. My current obsession is the caramel ribbon crunch. Um, I usually get it with oat milk. They didn't have oat milk, so I did almond milk. Um, and I do a pump of vanilla. I'm being so nosy. I'm all up in these people's business next to me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, mm. So good. And it's hot today. So the ice. Oh my gosh. And I needed something to eat. She says there's going to be food there, but I still needed something. So I got the banana bread. Let me try it out. And they warmed it up. And this is good. And this is good. Oh, let me show you guys what I got Harley. So I got her the... This is our story doll. Alright, what? Ah! Are you kidding me? I just broke my nail like what <sighs> over my nails over it like <laughs> why over our generation doll so this is haven this is what i got her um and i thought she was so cute she kind of looks like harley a little bit because harley has like really pretty curly hair and tay always does her hair in like these really cute girly styles I think she'll like it. I tried to get one that kind of resembled her the most, and this one really did. So now that I've broken my nail, but I just, I just did my nails. Like, why? Why does this have to happen this way? I have to get that fixed. <sighs> All right, so I have to. I didn't know like any of the gifts box they had there they were just like plain like literally just a solid color for five dollars like what are you what are you talking about this bag is literally probably gonna go like in the trash <laughs> like i'm gonna spend five dollars for something that's going to be thrown away no so i'm about to go to the dollar tree and get her a gift bag of tissue and then we're going to be on our way. There's a little... Uh, you need help? You want me to get it? I'm going to fix it. It's the birthday girl, y'all. Miss Harley herself. She's so precious. She's the sweetest. And here's mommy trying to get some bubbles going. <laughs> oh, oh, it's like a little. Oh, I can't. I'm such a big kid. Yay! Oh. Can you guys see the bubbles? <laughs> I'm such a big kid. <laughs> Harley, you see the bubbles, mama? You see the bubbles? It's so pretty. 
Charlie, <laughs> 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 She's so cute. <laughs> 